One young woman has suffered with mental health issues for nearly her entire life. She wasn't diagnosed with depression until much later in life, and she says that part of the reason is the culture she was raised in. So now she's created an app to help minorities get information about mental health so that others can get help sooner. Jasmine Pierre has been dealing with emotional struggles since she was nine years old. I just thought maybe I was just sad a lot or something. The first time she attempted suicide, she was 18. They just basically sent me home the next day and it took another suicide attempt for me to get diagnosed with depression. Jasmine says she wishes that she had gotten help sooner, but she says she didn't know that she was dealing with mental health issues in part because she says it's not talked about enough in the black community. Even from when I was a little girl, I heard like we were supposed to be strong all the time, that we have to pray all the time, or that it's just for white people. I heard that so much growing up. Dr. Rochelle Head Dunham is the executive director and medical director for Metropolitan Human Services District. She says that race, culture, and economic status do play a role in who gets treatment for mental health issues. In the white community, I think for one thing, access has been there for them. The majority of the people who provide the services are white. And so it makes it a much more comfortable, a much more familiar uh, thing for white people to take advantage of. And they frankly are more likely to be able to afford it. For probably a larger percentage of African Americans, it's just an unfamiliar, uncharted territory and it's not endorsed historically. But Jasmine has created something that might help an app called The Safe Place. It's a mental health app for minorities that provides self-care tips, leads people to resources, and has an open group forum. We are under-targeted, first of all, and so any application that specifically tries to reach our community or African Americans is welcomed. Jasmine hopes that by providing more information on mental illness, she can help someone else get help sooner than she did. And that Safe Place app is available for Android and iPhone. And if you are in need of mental health services, the Metropolitan Human Services District wants to make sure that everyone has access to mental health care. Yeah, they're located at 3100 General de Gaulle in Algiers. You can also find a link to their website on our website, wwltv.com.